by the promoter of SR Group on what is in store for the group going forward after this whopping 86,000 crore rupees deal with global investors. But uh, if we do a simple back of the envelope uh, uh, calculation, it would be just about 10,000 odd crore rupees, which would be remaining in the hands of the promoters, it seems. Lata is here to explain why. Lata. Well, the total SR oil valuation appears to be around $11 billion, $10.9 billion, as we've been saying for the last three days. From this, you have to take off about 3,000 crore of, uh, 30,000 crore of SR oil debt. Uh, some uh, banks place it at uh, $4.5 billion. So from $11 billion, you take away $4.5 billion, you get about $6.5 billion of equity, which we have been talking about. Uh, uh, in this, uh, this is what SR Global would get, but they already owe close to $6 billion, maybe $5.9 billion, to various banks, including VTB, Stancy, Axis, and ICICI. So if you take off that, what they are left with is a balance of about $500 million. They also want to pay off uh, the minority shareholders who had uh, uh, paid off, uh, who were paid off partly during the delisting. There is a uh, price difference now uh, uh, after this SR deal. So that may take away another $200 million. So you're really left with uh, a max of $300 million. But from the sale of the Wadinar port, they make a little more money because that's about 13 1,300 or nearly 2 billion, uh, a little short of 2 billion. But uh, there the debt is only 6,000 crore. So what they are left with is probably 1.1 billion. Uh, if you add the two, it would be about $1.4 billion that they will get, which is around 10,000 crores is what they make. Uh, but uh, ICICI separately is likely to gain because uh, uh, they are, uh, like I told you, owing money to SR Global. And that will mean about uh, about 6,000 crores. So this is entirely market sources, not confirmed by uh, uh, ICICI itself. Uh, this will mean this uh, uh, 6,000 crore, which was in their watch list, uh, will get knocked off. So their list of stressed assets on watch list shrinks by that much amount and of course the market hopes that they will use their freshly earned money from uh, ICICI Pru also to recognize a little more of bad loans and thus shrink the watch list. So ICICI, an obvious beneficiary, uh, that's what uh, we got from the management when we spoke to them.